My name is Monica Stone and I'm the Inclusion Coordinator with CCRNR and Signal Centers. So in this context, we talk about inclusion for inclusion of children and people with disabilities into our learning environments and into our programs. So if someone walked into a high quality inclusive practice classroom, they would see play. They would see a wide variety of materials for children to engage with. They would see educators that are just naturally modifying the activities um, to meet the needs of all of the children in the classroom. So you see that there's not this separation of we do this for children with disabilities and we do this for children of other abilities. It is the seamless look. There's decades of research that tell us that inclusion benefits everyone. It doesn't just benefit um, the person with a disability, it benefits everybody because it helps those children understand that there's multiple ways of learning and being and experiencing the environment or tools and toys and uh, materials and all those types of things. And it, it shows them that we can be empathetic and sympathetic toward everyone. And when we start that at a really young age, they don't know anything else. And so when they get out into at the park and they're playing with others and they see someone um, with a disability or a difference, they're able to kind of take that knowledge and go, oh, I know that. I know how that person might want to communicate with me and I know how to do that because I've always been in environments, in these high quality inclusive environments and programs that show me all the ways of a being and that they're all okay and they're all honored.